going on warriors it's your boy lionheart and we're back again so i want to talk about this shithouse company called game.co.uk yeah this company is a trash fire of a company Criminal, bro. Criminal. Let me tell you what happened to me. Yeah. I bought a game called Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch. They told me it was going to get delivered. I waited for it. Said it was going to come between 7.15 and 11.15. Okay. Um, I go to bed early anyway and I wake up early. So I was up by 6.00. In my front room, chilling out, playing Dragon Ball on Switch. Waiting for the door to, um, my bell to be, uh, the buzzer to go so I can collect my item. Nothing. All right. So, in the afternoon, I try to contact game. Call them. Ghost company. Nothing. Emailed them. No reply. Tweet them. No reply. Are you joking me? Wait for the next day. Contact them again. Nothing. I said, look, man, it's going to be the weekend and you're, and I know your office is closed at like five o'clock. Someone better reply to me. No one will reply to me. Then it's the weekend. Now I'm going four days without the game that I paid for and no one's even getting back to me. Now I'm pissed. So I get back onto the game and I cuss them out, bro. I go in. Dude. I go in. And I give them to the afternoon, after the weekend, yeah? They don't reply to me. I contact trading standards. I contact retail and customer relations. I, co um, I contact the um, trading ombudsman. And I get onto my bank. I'm pissed. Dude. I'm trying to be chill in my house, bro, bro. I'm trying to relax, chill out. And not try to stress out about anything. Because these guys got me tripping out over this thing. Contacting the bank. Filling applications forms. To get my money back. Because I paid for something. I paid for 24 hour delivery. I ain't received that. I paid for the game. I ain't received that. What are you playing at? And then when I cussed them out. And I told them. Uh, over the internet. You are a criminal organisation. You guys are the absolute worst, man. You guys are despicable. How the hell can you do this? Yeah? And then other people start commenting and then liking my... And retweeting me. And putting their experiences of what's been going on. Magically. All of a sudden. Game respond to me. They respond to my email that I sent. They respond to my tweet. And then they direct message me. Magically, after I start to go in on them. And everybody starts commenting and liking and retweeting me. All of a sudden, they see me. Fuck off me. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. And give everyone else their money. Because there's other people that have bought Xboxes. They still haven't received their Xboxes. Give them their refund. You know, so they're criminals, man. Now, I know game are shady. Why do I buy from game? Now, it is a difficult situation. Yeah. Because I like my collector's editions. And they have pretty much cornered the market when it comes to collector's editions. And it pisses me off, man. Because I want to buy from a company called shop to net because this company, um, if you're in the UK, a game called a company called Shop Two Net, they always have the cheapest prices. They always have when they um, sell a game, the game always comes to you on time. Sometimes it comes a day early, right, or two days early, or something like that, right. But they are always on time. Always have good delivery. If I have any issues or queries, I just call them. They will pick up the phone. I just tweet them, they respond to the tweet. I emailed them, they respond to the email. That company, godlike man, I want to buy from them. But they don't have the collector editions of stuff that I want. 
Now, what happened was I managed to amass credit with game because if you spend a certain amount of money, you get a little bit of um, money in terms of credit. Yeah. Now, last year, I bought a lot of games, man. I bought like, you know, Devil May Cry. I bought uh, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, all the collector editions. I bought Xenoblade Chronicles Collector's Edition. I bought Persona 5 Collector's Edition. You know, I could go on. I bought a lot of Collector's Editions, which meant I amassed, you know, a vast amount of credit. Yeah. That I was able to save and use it to get money off of games. Yeah. And so by the time that I had bought a game, I would get it for like four or five pounds cheaper than I would anywhere else because I'm using the credit that I've um, that I've amassed from buying so many collector editions because collector editions are expensive. They're like two hundred pounds, one hundred and seventy pounds, one hundred eighty pounds. Very rarely they're like one hundred and fifty pounds or one hundred fifty nine pounds each one. Okay, so I don't want to buy from game. But because I like my collect editions, and they're the only ones that do collect editions, what of a choice do I have? And it pisses me off, man, that no one else could do the collect editions but them. Now, I have seen just how many people have been robbed by game. People have bought items from game, brand new. They've been sent second-hand versions. They've been sent a game. The game is damaged. They haven't been sent their game. No one gets back to them. Or nobody replies to them. That company is a shit house. I would highly recommend, if you can, stay clear of game. That game company is a ghost company, mate. When you buy something, they'll take your money. Boom, straight away. When it comes to actually getting your product that is when they become very elusive very very hard to get a hold of bro i hate game dude i hate that company that company is trash bro the level of criminal from that company dude how can you do that how can you do that and the only reason that i stopped going in on them on social media is because I spoke to my bank and I spoke to the trading standards and the ombudsman, trading ombudsman, yeah, and they all advised me give them five. They said they must get back to you. If they don't get back to you, you could go in. I did say, look, they did reply to me. They said, how long did they say? I said, they said they're going to contact me in five to seven days. They said, okay, give them five to seven days, yeah? My bank said they're going to do their investigating, but please allow them five to seven days, yeah, to do their investigation. Ombudsman, um, the trading ombudsman said that as well. The financial um, ombudsman said that when I got in contact with them. And then the customer and retail um, ombudsman advised me to do that as well. And I, they, they don't know each other. Uh, or the representative that I spoke to, but they all said the same thing. So you know what? Yeah, I did. I've stayed silent. Yeah, but I'm going to go in because the seven days is about to be up. Yeah, and I want my money back. And I feel like I have to do this type of a video to bring light to the skullduggery that this company is getting away with, man. Because they're doing it to individual people. And because individual voices dotted all over the place is not doing anything. So we have to bring ourselves together and make a collective voice together to let everybody know that it's not just you, it's me as well. Oh, it's you. Oh, and it's you. And yeah, it's me. And it's you. And it's you. And it's you. And it's you. And that's when we all can rise up. 
and stop this company from doing their criminal skullduggery because people are not aware of this. They're buying the thing from this company. This company is thriving. They're skanking and they're, they're like doing good by like 30% of people, but they're doing skullduggery and conning 70% of people. It's not right. It's not right, man. So that's what I really want to say about that. And um, yeah, look, if Warriors, if you have any kind of mad issues with game, please, the comment section, right? Because I'm going in. Even after I get my money back, I'm never going to let them forget about this. The fact that I bought a game from them, I tried to be reasonable, very nice, calm, even though I was angry. Where's my game? I bought something from you. It hasn't come yet. It's been two days. No one's got back to me. They ignored me. I had to make ruckus. That's what really frustrates me. It's only after I got upset and made up noise. I kicked up a stink. I kicked up a hell of fuss. I kicked up a hell of noise. And then all of a sudden, they replied to me. Like, what is this? So you respond to anger, but you don't respond to just reasonable what is that so you know that showed me that my approach in the first place was wrong being nice being humble to these guys was the wrong approach which is that in itself is a problem right but yeah that was just my story of how they've conned me out of um, my game i actually needed to buy the game from um i bought the game from shop to net yeah um i didn't get the collector edition that i wanted you know i'm pissed about that but nothing i can do about that yeah and and i'm basically going to get my money back you know so from whenever i upload this the next day is going to be the day for game and my bank account because I ain't got, i'm gonna get my money back so yeah, Warriors, I just want to say that. Sorry it's come to like a little bit of a negative video. But it's just something I wanted to like speak about and voice out. And look man, I'm going to be covering this a lot, right? So if I have people over the internet that are having the same kind of issue with game, I'm going to do more videos about it. I would put up examples of people's comments, but I don't want to, you know, put people's names or their faces or whichever on a video without their consent so if people um come to the channel they see this video um they comment say yep you can use um this comment that i put on social media you can put it in your video i'll do that right um so yeah worries we're gonna go through there we're not done we're still gonna go in game.co.uk skullduggery shithouse company do not buy from them. They're not going to get away with it. It's the lot. This, this is it. Because gaming is all we have right now. Right? Because look, man. We're all a little bit fucked up, man. From this whole C-Virus era. You know, psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. We're all like, we're all messed up, man. You know, we see millions, millions of people have died, man. From this damn sea virus. It's so bloody sad man. We've made it. We have made it. Or we're making it so far. Right. To escape from this. Despair. You know. We turn to games. Escape the reality. This bullshit reality. We turn to games. And then you have games like game.co.uk which are exploiting that the fact that gamers are buying more games now than ever to escape the reality even if we don't have the money it's our only form of escape our only source of joy out of reality and they're taking advantage of it taking our money not giving us the product that we want or it's damaged and then they're, they're, they're pissing about with us for us to get our money back and not giving us our money back. Can't have it. 
I won't have it. So yeah, Warriors, just wanted to say that. I want to say thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. And I will update you in terms of my situation. And if more people get in contact with me, right, um, tell me about their situation. I'll do videos on it and we're going to go in hard body. All right, Warriors, once again, thank you so much. Um, take care. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And catch you in the next video. Laters.